singers and musicians need to hear today is just to work hard and stand in their space yeah. and not get turned around. From her chart-topping hits to her iconic voice, Chaka Khan's been a force to be reckoned with in the music industry for over four decades. But how much is the queen of funk really worth? And what does her lavish lifestyle look like? In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating world of Chaka Khan and uncover the secrets behind her net worth and lifestyle. Yvette Marie Stevens, born on March 23, 1953, and standing at 1.62 meters, is an American singer. Khan was the first R&B artist to have a crossover hit featuring a rapper with I Feel You in 1984. Khan has won 10 Grammy Awards. To people, yeah, and it, it's important to you, stick with it. Don't let any amount of money or persuasion of any kind. Now let's talk about her interests and what she likes to do in her free time. She has a pet dog. She's known for buying designer bags that cost thousands of dollars. In 2004, Khan was awarded an honorary doctorate of music from Berklee College of Music during the inauguration of its president, Roger H. Brown. She's a strict vegetarian, saying she adopted the diet to lose weight and combat high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. Her favorite color is powder blue. Take you away from what you are truly about. Because at the end of the day, and at the end of your life, it's going to be just you and you. And you got to live with yourself. Let's see how she's getting on with her friends and family. Khan married Hassan Khan in 1970 when she was 17. The marriage ended in divorce a short time later. Khan has a daughter, Indira Malini, with Rashawn Morris. Khan married Richard Holland in 1976. They have a son together, Damian Holland. Richard filed for divorce in 1980. Khan dated a Chicago school teacher in the mid 80s at the height of her solo stardom. After their breakup, Khan moved to London and later lived in Germany. The eldest of five children, born to Charles Stevens and Sandra Coleman, she's described her father as a beatnik and her mother as able to do anything. Her sister, Yvonne, later became a successful musician in her own right under the name Taka Boom. Her only brother, Mark, who formed the funk group Jamaica Boys and was a member of ARA, also became a successful musician. She has two other sisters, Zahiva Stevens and Tammy McCrary. She was friends with the late Natalie Cole. She was close friends with Whitney Houston. A lot of artists. I, I mean, there are quite a few jazz artists that I love too as well. You know, um, I, I just love lots of kinds of music. With that being said, let's discuss how she earns money. With an estimated 70 million records sold worldwide, it's no surprise that Chaka Khan has a hefty bank account. But Chaka Khan's success isn't limited to just music. She's also an astute investor with a savvy stock market portfolio that's helped her amass even more wealth. And let's not forget about her brand endorsement deals, which have helped her cement her status as a household name. But that's not all. Chaka Khan has also expanded her empire to include a fragrance line called Kana Sutra, a vodka brand, and a few exotic food restaurants in Washington, D.C. And let's not forget about her tours, which have consistently brought in additional income for the superstar. She has a net worth of $30 million. And if you've ever wondered where she lives, get ready to take a virtual tour of her luxurious mansion Chaka Khan has called many places home, including a house in New York City during the 1970s. The house was a hub of creativity, with Chaka often hosting impromptu jam sessions and recording sessions with her fellow musicians. In the 1980s, Chaka moved across the pond to London, England, where she lived for several years. During this time, she continued to produce hit records and collaborate with some of the biggest names in the music industry. But her wanderlust didn't stop there. She also owned a house in Germany at one point, immersing herself in the local culture and expanding her horizons even further. However, Shock has also made her mark in sunny California, where she owns a beautiful three-bedroom house in Los Angeles. This home is her true oasis, complete with a pool and lush garden, providing a serene retreat for the music icon to recharge her batteries and stay inspired. And here are the rides you'll find in her garage. A Mercedes convertible,
a Jeep? A Volkswagen Beetle. A Range Rover. and Aston Martin. A Cadillac XLR. A Maserati Gran Cabrio. A Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. If you enjoy our videos, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us. It's hard to get the full picture of someone's lifestyle without seeing how they got there. So where did it all begin? Khan was a fan of rhythm and blues music early on in her life, and at the age of 11, she formed a girl group, the Crystalettes. As a teen, Khan attended several civil rights rallies and joined the Black Panther Party after befriending activist and fellow Chicago native Fred Hampton in 1967. She was given the name Shaka Adun Aduf Hodari Karifa at age 13 by Yoruba Baba. In 1969, Khan left the Black Panthers and dropped out of high school. She started performing in small groups around the Chicago area. She first shined on the music scene in the 1970s as the front woman of the band Rufus, which was recognized for its strong R&B and funk sound. The band gained popularity as a live performing act and Khan was the star attraction. But in spite of their prosperity, Khan decided to leave the band and went solo in 1978. Shaka's first solo album became a global hit with the disco hit single I'm Every Woman, which scored a number one spot and eventually became Khan's signature song. In 1984, Khan released her sixth studio album, I Feel For You. Khan developed a strong UK fan base when she remixed Life's A Dance, which topped the top 10 of the British albums chart. As a result, she began to perform extensively in the UK. However, Khan's popularity in the mid-1980s was quickly followed by a period of decline throughout the 1990s. In 1998, she signed with Prince's NPG Records and issued Come to My House and later went on tour with Prince as a co-headlining act. In 2007, Khan made a comeback as an older, wiser, but no less soulful singer with the Grammy-winning album Funk This. In July 2022, Khan announced her new single, Woman Like Me, which was released on July 29th. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it, but don't stop here, there's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.